Hello everyone, this is Juan from KenHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time I'm going to be talking about the posterior leg muscles. So we're going to be looking at the different muscles that you find on the posterior side of your leg as you can see here on the image on the right side. And we're going to go into the different attachment points, so origins and insertions. We're going to include innervation and functions of, for all these muscles. Now, before I go into details on each single muscle of the posterior leg, I want to divide them into groups, into layers, better said. Now, there is one superficial layer which consists of two main muscles, the triceps surae and the plantaris muscle. The deep layer consists of muscles, the popliteus, the tibialis posterior, the flexor digitorum longus, and the flexor hallucis longus. Now these muscles are all considered part of the deep layer of the posterior leg muscles. Now we're going to move on to the very first muscle here on our list, but right now on your screen you have two different muscles highlighted, but these are not two different muscles. These are two muscles are a part of this one here that we found on the first, the first muscle on our list, the triceps surae. Now this is a three-headed muscle that you find on the dorsal lower leg and the heads and body of this muscle determine the surface anatomy of the calf. Now the triceps surae consists of the gastrocnemius as you can see here on the image which has two heads so clearly seen here one and two heads which have eventually two origin points which we will look at. And the soleus is found underneath the gastrocnemius and has one head. We're going to start off with the gastrocnemius here highlighted in green. And this muscle in terms of origin points, we're going to see that one of the heads is going to be originating from the medial epicondyle of the femur. So as you can see here, this is the medial epicondyle and the medial head of the gastrocnemius is originating from this portion of the bone. If you have a medial head, you would have then another one called lateral head because there is another head, the second hand of the gastrocnemius is originating from the lateral epicondyle of the femur. And as you can see clearly on this image, the gastrocnemius overlaps the soleus muscle almost completely. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.